We love sharing stories of Good Samaritans in action. It's the focus of Hero Central, and this one is extra special. Because at just three years old, this little boy's quick thinking got his mom the medical help she needed. Sometimes the best gifts come in small packages. He just must have had the strength of somebody behind him because he was just beyond brave. That's the case of Christy Fritchie when her family adopted little Guy earlier this year. You see, Guy is credited with saving his new mom's life. 911 emergency. Yeah. Hello? September 6th, when Christy and Guy were at home alone playing a game, Christy suddenly suffered a seizure. I, I don't even know what happened. The next thing I knew uh, is when I came to. And this room was filled with paramedics and um, firefighters and policemen. That's all thanks to the quick actions of her heroic little three-year-old. He knew just who to call. Um, this one. No. What, what? My mom's whole body is wrinkly. Do you see a police car? Yeah. I need the police car to help my mom. Okay, let the officer inside your house, okay? Okay. Guy was honored for his quick thinking by Mesa Fire today. An honor complete with a plaque and a fire truck just his size. What do you think about this? Now that rocks. <laughs> Then, a first responder in his own right, he was treated to the real deal. A special day for a very special little boy. He's our every blessing. He, he is our every blessing. Just an incredibly smart and sweet little boy. And what's even more amazing is Guy has a speech impediment. Don't know if you could hear it there in the tapes. A year ago, he was barely able to speak, let alone call for help. Here is another hero who was recognized today by Mesa Fire. It was Timothy Allgood's quick thinking that potentially could have saved a life. Last month, first responders were called to help a man on a bike who had been struck by a pickup truck. This was near Gilbert Road and Main Street. Tim is a forklift operator. He witnessed the biker being hit, rushed to use his forklift to lift the pickup truck off the biker who was trapped and sandwiched between the asphalt and the truck. You're looking at some of the pictures now. These are pictures from Mesa fire crews when they first arrived on scene and rushed to help that biker and get him to the hospital. Now, Tim received a plaque today. He says he's putting it up on his wall. And instead of accepting, accepting recognition as a hero, he insisted that the first responders be honored instead. We don't know the extent of his injuries, but we're told because of Tim's quick thinking, the man on the bike is expected to survive. Tonight, Steve Baudinet has the story of one very small Valley hero, a three-year-old boy. When Mesa's Kitty Fritchie went down with a seizure, she went down hard. And when she woke up, she was surrounded by Mesa firefighters and paramedics. But how did they possibly know she needed their help? He, I don't know, I, he called 911 because I was out of it. So, Kitty um, Fritchie's talking about this little guy, her three-year-old son, named Guy. He's my hero, he's my blessing, he's, he's my baby, he's everything, he's wonderful. <laughs> Thank you. And this morning, the wonderful little guy was honored for the simply amazing 911 call he made to save his mom's life. 911 emergency? Yeah. Hello? My mom, my, my mom not feeling so much better. Your mom's not feeling better? No. How old are you? Hello? Hello? I am three. You're three? And my mom's whole body is wrinkling. Your mom's whole body is what? It is wrinkling. Everybody this way, please. The brave little three-year-old shared the stage with two other heroes being honored by the Mesa Fire Department this morning. Feeling uh, very surprised and um, nervous. <laughs> but Tim Allgood wasn't nervous at all on August 6 when he used a forklift to help firefighters free a man on a bike who became trapped beneath a pickup truck. I just knew I shouldn't, uh, shouldn't freak out. I shouldn't understand what everybody's saying to me and then later then freak out. <laughs> uh, I was just riding my bike and uh, ran into a guy that was hurt. Bob Mancini was also awarded for helping a Mesa firefighting crew help an injured mountain biker. But of course, it was the cool, calm three-year-old who stole the day. So Mesa firefighters say today's recognition proves that anyone's capable of being a hero, 
even if you're only three years old and cute as a bug. Steve Bodinet and Guy for 3TV. It doesn't get much better than that, Steve. Thank you very much. We want to thank you, little guy, for what you did. That is awesome. Come here. A three-year-old in a red hat got a big honor today in Mesa. Steve Bonet shows us what awesome thing he did to help save his mom's life. Shocked. Absolutely shocked. Katie Fritchie yeah, is talking God. about what her three-year-old son, Guy, did after she suffered a life-threatening seizure. He... I don't know. I, he called 911 because I was out of it. 911 emergency? Yeah! Hello? My mom, my, my, my mom not feeling so much better. Your mom's not feeling better? No. How old are you? Mm -hmm. Hello? I am three. You're three? And my mom's whole body is, is wrinkling. Your mom's whole body is what? It's wrinkling. Yeah, I was, I was really shocked. Mommy. He didn't act like a baby, did he? Absolutely not. He, was, he acted like a big, brave boy. <laughs> Today, that one brave guy was honored by the Mesa Fire Department for calmly making that call that saved his mom's life, along with two others being called heroes. Uh, I was just riding my bike and uh, ran into a guy that was hurt. While Bob Mancini downplayed his role in helping an injured mountain biker, firefighter Dean Morales disagrees. Oh, he's definitely being humble. He, he made a huge difference out there. And for using a forklift to free another injured cyclist trapped beneath a pickup truck, Tim Allgood also was given a salute. I just knew I shouldn't, uh, shouldn't freak out. I shouldn't understand what everybody's saying to me and then later then freak out. <laughs> but of course, it was the littlest hero that was given the biggest round of applause. He's my hero, he's my blessing, he's, he's my baby, he's everything, he's wonderful. So Mesa firefighters say today's recognition proves that anyone's capable of being a hero, even if you're only three years old and cute as a bug. Steve Bodinet and Guy for 3TV. Oh wow, thank you so much Steve, we just love that story today. Uh Honored for being heroes, and now the recognition is public. The Mesa Fire Department thanking three residents for their role in possibly saving a life. They handed out plaques praising the residents for their heroic actions, and they included a man who used a forklift to move a truck off of a person pinned in an accident. Sounds like something out of a movie. A cyclist who helped a fellow mountain biker who couldn't move after a crash. And a toddler, a three-year-old little Despite boy who age, called 911 while his mom old. had a seizure. Despite his age, three years old, the, the toddler kept on task and got mom the help she needed. I keep bubbling over because this is awesome. As for that little boy who was honored, he also got a toy truck, a red fire hat, and a tour of one of the department's ladder trucks. Great news this Friday morning. Speaking of... Some local heroes were honored today at the Mesa Fire Department. It's one guy right behind us. He might look a little familiar to you. That's three-year-old guy. We told you about him last night. My, my mom is not doing good today. Your mom's not doing good today? My mom's whole body is, is wrinkling. Guy called 911 when his mom was having a seizure and stayed on the line with the operator until help arrived. It's a fire. I think that he definitely had someone on his side and he was um, very brave. After getting his award, Guy got a tour of that fire truck there and even got his own firefighter hat. Also honored. <laughs> Timothy Allgood, he helped a man who was hit while riding his bike. And Bob Mancini is credited for saving a bicyclist who crashed while riding on a trailhead. The ceremony is part of Mesa's honoring Good Samaritans in action. Congrats to all of them. The You've heard us play 911 calls before, but the one you're about to hear is anything but routine. My mom is not doing good today. Your mom's not doing good today? That voice on the other end of that phone call is Guy, a little boy who's now a hero. Tonight, in a story you'll see only on 5, Lindsay Reiser tells us how this guy saved his mom's life. Katie and her son Guy were just hanging out at home when the unthinkable happened. Katie had a seizure, but luckily, Guy knew exactly what to do. And he's only three years old. 911 emergency. Yeah. That sweet voice belongs to Guy Fritchie. Are you guy? I got it. Good job. <laughs> An extraordinary three-year-old. 
Okay. Who may have a future in first response. My, my mom is not doing good today. Your mom's not doing good today? Ah. Guy and his mom, Katie, were playing board games at their Mesa home earlier this month. Put him in the tree. When Katie had a seizure. He's never seen me have a seizure before. And um, I'm so impressed that he wasn't scared. One, one, two. Luckily, Katie taught Guy, who has a speech delay, what to do in case of an emergency. Paramedics responded, and today Katie is doing just fine and beaming with pride. I was absolutely blown away. Absolutely blown away. Like, I just thought, that's my baby. He had the confidence to stay on the phone and articulate that help was needed. Forrest Smith with Mesa Fire and Medical says when it comes to teaching young kids how to dial 911, practice makes perfect. Show them the telephone and that here's the number that you press to call, and somebody on the other end will talk to you. Let the officer inside your house, okay? He's my hero. Guy is going to be recognized Thursday at a Good Samaritan meeting with the Mesa Fire Department and city leaders. Lindsay Reiser, CBS 5 News. Sounds cliche, but what a guy, right? Yes, indeed. Great job. There might soon be a rich. My, my mom is not doing good today. Your mom's not doing good today? My mom, the whole body is, is wrinkled. That is the 911 call from three year old Guy. His mom had a seizure and he knew just how to call for help. His mother had taught him to call 911 in case of an emergency. Paramedics, they responded, and thankfully, she is doing just fine. Well, today, Guy was honored by the Mesa Fire Department as a hero. I'm beyond amazed because he um, he was patient. He didn't want to hang up on them. I think the 911 operator had a little bit of difficulty understanding him, and he stayed on the phone. He let the firefighters in. He um, locked our dog up and um, did everything he needed to do. Amazing, right? Yeah, really. So impressive. And well-dressed as well. <laughs> Look at the little uh, sweater vest going. Sharp-dressed little man. There he goes. After getting his award, Guy got to tour that fire truck there. Even got to try on a real firefighter hat. He is adorable. Yeah. All new to... 10 News is back. He's only three years old, but he knew what he wanted to do when his mom started having a seizure. And today, that heads-up little boy was recognized by Mesa firefighters for his actions in saving his mother. Kristen Keough met this young hero. She joins us live tonight. Kristen. You guys, he is so adorable. I can't wait for you to meet him. His name is Guy Fritchie, and this little boy was home with just his mom on a Friday night last month. Now, his mom has a seizure disorder, but this was her first episode in seven years, so he'd never seen it happen. But when he witnessed a seizure for the first time, he knew what needed to be done. 911 emergency? Yeah. Hello? My mom, my, my mom not doing so much better. With his mom yelling and seizing on their yeah. family. Fox Studios, Fox 10 News. This is such back. a great story. The Mesa Fire Department honoring some good Samaritans for their life-saving efforts at a special ceremony today. Among them, a three-year-old, a little boy who knew exactly what to do when his mom started having a seizure. Fox 10's Kristen Keogh has the story. 911 emergency? Yeah. Hello? My mom, my, my mom not doing so much better. With his mom yelling and seizing on their family room floor, three-year-old guy picked up the house phone and hit three important numbers. I got nine. I, I don't even know what happened. The next thing I knew uh, is when I came to. Guy was actually adopted from foster care. He grew up with two other children who are autistic, so he has speech delay. His mom says it's amazing he was able to speak so clearly to the dispatcher. I can't play the what? Even when the 911 operator couldn't understand him, Guy kept calm. But he's very, very patient to um, describe what he's trying to say to you or find another way to say it to you. He doesn't get frustrated. We want to thank you, little guy, for what you did. That is awesome. Today, Guy was honored at Mesa Fire Station number 201. He even got to check out their truck. Okay, I'm going to lift you up here, okay? And try on gear. I think it's a little too big. It's a little too big? Mom Katie and her husband adopted Guy in June of 2012. They call him a blessing. This is our little boy who is 
just giving us a second chance of life. And He's just a toddler, but this bright-eyed little boy wants to keep saving lives and become a doctor when he grows up. He even practiced on me today. Does my heart sound good? Yes. <laughs> In Mesa, I'm Kristen Keo, Fox 10 News. What a cute kid. Guy has also survived some of his own medical issues. He was born with a hole in his heart, and at one point, his heart valves burst. But as you can see, he's doing a lot better today. Important numbers. I got nine, and then, and then, and one, and one. I, I don't even know what happened. The next thing I knew uh, is when I came to. Guy was actually adopted from foster care. He grew up with two other children who are autistic, so he has speech delay. His mom says it's amazing he was able to speak so clearly to the dispatcher. What? Even when the 911 operator couldn't understand him, Guy kept calm. But he's very, very patient to um, describe what he's trying to say to you or find another way to say it to you. He doesn't get frustrated. We want to thank you, little guy, for what you did. That is awesome. Today, Guy was honored at Mesa Fire Station number 201. He even got to check out their truck. Okay, I'm going to lift you up here, okay? And try on gear. I think it's a little too big. It's a little too big? Mom Katie and her husband adopted Guy in June of 2012. They call him a blessing. This is our little boy who is just giving us a second chance of life. And He's just a toddler, but this bright-eyed little boy wants to keep saving lives and become a doctor when he grows up. He even practiced on me today. Does my heart sound good? Yes. <laughs> Guy has also survived medical problems. He was born with a hole in his heart, and at one point, his heart valves burst. You can see now he's doing much better. Reporting live, I'm Kristen Keo, Fox 10 News. Thanks, Kristen. Other Valley heroes were also honored today during today's ceremony. Timothy Allgood was recognized for saving a man's life, a man who was riding his bike and was struck by a truck and then got stuck between the road and the truck. That's when Timothy jumped into action using his company's forklift to rescue that man. I thought the best thing I could do is uh, uh, offer my services with the, the forklift to uh, uh, assist the fire department. Not my everyday job to be a hero, but uh, what I want to do is thank the guys that actually do put their lives on the line. I don't have a hat for it. Another man was also honored for providing first aid to an injured man stranded on a mountain before paramedics arrived.